I am Sasha. I've been asked by one of my fellow YouTubers, Alex from Beautysaurus Lex, if I would make something for her. Hey Sasha, it's Alex or Beautysaurus Lex here on YouTube. And firstly, I wanted to say that I am a huge fan of yours, love the show, love Sydney. And secondly, I have a bit of a request for you. I would love to see you make something with peanut butter. It is one of my favorite foods ever. And being American and all, we cannot get enough of peanut butter. So, have some here for you. Good luck. Nice throwing arm, Alex. Okay, challenge accepted. And I think I know what I'm gonna make. Along with that, I'm using 300 grams of plain sweet biscuits. I'm using hobnobs here, but you could use digestives. 55 grams of butter. A tablespoon of golden syrup. If you can't buy that where you live, check out the little video here, which will show you how to make it. 100 milliliters of double cream. 250 grams of mascarpone cheese. That's typically one ton. 300 grams of soft cream cheese, like Philadelphia. 100 grams of icing sugar. 100 grams of milk chocolate. A teaspoon of vanilla paste or extract. And finally, 100 grams of soft, smooth peanut butter. Start by making your biscuit base. You're gonna melt the butter with the golden syrup in a pan. Once your butter's melted, pop in your biscuit crumb mix and mix it until it's all combined. Then pour it into a nine inch spring form tin. I've lined the bottom of mine with cling film because it'll make it easy to get it out at right at the end. Once all that's in, push it across the base with a metal spoon. Once you're happy it's all leveled off, it's time to put this in the fridge to firm up for around about 20 minutes. While that's chilling, start melting your chocolate in a bowl over some hot water. And while the chocolate's melting, Sid, I'm gonna get on with making the main cheesecake mix. So we're gonna add in the two types of cheese, that's the soft cream Philadelphia type cheese, the mascarpone cheese, the icing sugar, and the cream. And give that a good mix together. Now that's all mixed together, I'm ready to split it into three different flavors. I've got three bowls here, and if my maths is correct, I should have 750 grams of mixture in here. So let's get 250 grams in each bowl. Zero back off your scales with one of them, and add in 100 grams of your peanut butter. It'll get off the spoon. Done. In the next one, add your teaspoon of vanilla paste. And in the final one, add in your melted chocolate. Now starting with your chocolate one before it cools and sets, give them all a good mix together. There, we've mixed three lovely flavours together so they're ready to go in on top of our biscuit base. And start lobbing your three mixtures in randomly. Now they're all in, I want you to use a knife to level them all down. Now you're not trying to mix them together because that's the whole point of this. We just want to gently swirl the flavours together. Then pop it into the fridge for at least four hours to completely chill. That's looking brilliant. Just check out the marvellous marbling on that. 
It'd be really great if you could head on over to Alex's channel and share your thoughts with her on what I've done with her peanut butter suggestion. And while you're there, check out her videos and why not subscribe? Gives you that feeling like you just left the salon and got a haircut. No joke, that is what it does to you. I don't feel like it's gonna fall or anything like that throughout the day. And if it does, it doesn't really matter because we're going for a relaxed look anyways. For today's video, I thought I would do another hair tutorial. It is a messy bun and you might wanna pile up more little bits in the front, you might wanna leave everything back, you might wanna have a huge bun with tons of teasing. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Well, it might have been Alex's idea to make a peanut butter dessert, but I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this. As ever, please subscribe to my channel and come back for seconds. Mm, it's really good.